test. Can you guys hear me? Um, yeah, after party, guys, after party. By the way, we dinged again. Huh? Do you guys know we dinged again? I don't know if you guys saw. We fucking dinged again. Fucking crazy. So maybe some people can actually show the graph. Huh? Can you guys show the graph? And there's also a new beta, yeah. There's a new beta. So yeah, it's one of the final betas. Huh? There's two more, one more actual beta and then a small other beta that is still coming up. I haven't seen any bugs so far. Do you guys like the new beta? So yeah. Beta laggy on blue stacks. I see. The sound is fucked on Android S10 Plus. Do you guys actually make cards about it? Do you say it in the Clash of, Clash of streams like here? Like, tell your bugs here. Huh? Please. I would really appreciate it. Do you guys like the game, by the way? People that are trying the last beta. People that tried the last beta. You guys like it? Because the more you like it, the more you should get purpose, you know? You might wonder and say, like, but the thing, why? Like, yeah. It works great on my phone, but lags a ton on my Samsung. How old is the Samsung? How old is the Samsung that where it's laggy on? And are other games not laggy? Is it only Clash of Streamers that is laggy? I see. It's idle heroes laggy. Let's see. I want to know what the release date is. 16 March 2018. That's a phone, four years old phone. Yes, sorry. That's a four year old phone. We're not optimizing for four-year-old phones. By the way, I think the option to skip the tutorial is kind of dangerous to allow so easily. The game is too complicated and overwhelming to simply do this. As you know, most gamers skip everything if they can. If you allow a skip, then you should at least allow an option to return to the tutorial mode. Can't do that. It's not easy to swap back. It would be too much effort would really delay the game by a month, first of all. Second, well, unless you restart, you would just start a clean account. But the second thing uh, as well, I actually, did I make a card for this beta thing? I think I did. Let me quickly see here. Oh yeah, the, the beta, like toggle for beta server through uh, production but yeah like uh, you I, I will explain why we have the skip tutorial you want me to explain it why we have it why we have to have it by the way the thing is and it's important to be open-minded because this is not a decision we made because we thought it was a good idea it's a decision we made based on the analytics so basically 
the amount of people that quit the game was 60% in the first five minutes. So as a, as a, as in, because they just play the game, they just go fuck this after, you know, five minutes, they just go fuck this. They just install the game. So what we did is we added the bomb, which makes increases the audience retention like crazy. And most people that would normally have decided to quit end up choosing to skip tutorial instead. Actually, a minority of people choose skip tutorial and the majority of the people that do choose skip tutorial are the people that would have quit anyway. So by skipping tutorial, what they get is they, they, they get overwhelmed and they get more to experience a different type of, you know, uh, like if, if our game doesn't hook them anyway, the tutorial they wanted to quit anyway, then overwhelming them gives us another shot at them just trying out, okay, what is this? What is that? It just increases, you know, the, uh, the audience retention. Replays are on from the start in my opinion, should be off. Why, Phil? Because it's not really, it's, or is it lagging your game a lot? The performance is almost not hit by, uh, we, 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 we optimized like crazy. You barely notice it. There is a three FPS drop. That's it. A three FPS drop. Do you know that everything you guys did playing, right? We have basically logs of it. That's quite crazy. Huh? Why is the, phone, the game not optimized for old phones? Most people use missed range phones. Actually, that's not true, by the way, Headhunter. There is statistics that, what was it? Uh, I think... 80%, like there's, there's actually uh, statistics about how many people have phones that are at least two years old. There's statistics, it's insane um, how many. Yeah, like it's, it's a minority that has shitty, that has shitty phones. Actually, I can even Google it for you. It's what I was really blown away. Um, a higher proportion of people switch off their phones as age increases in the age group 16 to 44 just over 10 percent of people regularly switch their phones off older is no no phone age statistics like uh, let me see here Like a uh, phone, maybe it's saying the age phone, uh, uh, new phone statistics. Yeah, let's go. Let me see that it's very interesting, you know, let me see here. Ah, it's really. I had the number. It's really crazy high. Played CS beta around 1.5 years ago. I liked that version way more. It was much more simplistic. And less overwhelming. It also did not ask me to pay money every three seconds. I think you're a troll, by the way, Radiant. I think you're just a troll. Because what you're saying is just not true. We don't ask to pay money every three seconds. That's just bullshit. Unless you have a bugged version or something. Also, the game now is less overwhelming than 1.5 years ago. Ah, 20% have a phone three or more years older and, and everybody else has less, right? Well, yeah, that's 80%. Yeah.
So yeah, why why would we optimize for older phones? It's it's a lot of extra work. But our game still runs better than 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 a lot of other games like uh, AFK Arena. It's a lot more uh, optimized than AFK Arena. But like Radiant, like, I don't even know what you're talking about because you only get boosts in front of you with free packages. You never get a boost in your face for nothing unless you, 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 you spam the get more buttons. Where can I fuse pets and so on? It's so confusing to me. You can do it in the upgrade building. You can toggle between pets and heroes. But yeah. Do you guys like the beta? Well, it's it's it, it's improved and then compared to to December, I mean, a lot of bugs are gone. Huh? It's almost three months ago. Auction house works, yes. Yeah, you can still use the S7, I guess. The game is a bit laggy, but uh, yeah. Do you guys like it? Do you guys like the, the, the beta and stuff like compared to the previous beta? Do you guys see a lot of change? We will still improve quite a bit, you know, because we're really getting close to launch. Do you guys think it is close to launch ready or not? Sound and lag has to be fixed. But I don't know, it's very specific to your phone, Phil. Do you still have the sound and lag issue when you turn off replays and spectate? That's a bug, that background bug. So people with a Samsung 10 have problems. So we need to buy a Samsung 10. Ah. Try to turn off spectate and sound and see if it fixes it. So that's a Samsung S10 that is fucking shit up. Emulators should be able to switch to whatever model. Nah, man, that's not how it works. These emulators are complete garbage. I wish that was the case. It would save us a lot of money. We literally have phones of every version here. Blue stacks is laggy. Did you try to toggle off uh, spectate and uh, and still laggy? Do you have? There is actually ways to speed up your blue stacks. There is way to hyper V or whatever it is. Better now without spectate and replay. Still some sound bugs though. You got to make recordings of it and, and, and make videos so we can see it definitely if it's the S10. So, yeah. It's nice that people are liking it though. Do you guys see a big difference between the last version two months ago? Well, actually, is it two or three months ago? Three months. December, January, February. It's three months. Holy shit. Almost three months. Yeah.
is it is it in a better state than uh, than cyberpunk? <laughs> Yeah. You gotta get yourself some sweet ass purpose, and guys, the beta is there. It's coming. Like it's gonna, man, guys, for real. It's getting really close. Eh? You guys, you can't get closer. You guys are getting a bet, and this beta doesn't even have all the fixes that Nolan are are adding. Eh? Can you reveal how much purpose is getting is being bought? Like for the past three, uh, two, you can sick it on purpose, Mo. Like literally, we dinked four, no, five times, I think, this month. That's an increase of 3% this month, just this month. In like 17 days, I think we dinked five times. That's literally 3% increase. I don't know if you guys realize how much that is. That's fucking insane. 3% in 17 days. And the game is not even out yet. Man, guys, seriously, man. No purpose, more shows everything. You can go next, next, next. Yeah, you can, you can go next. Ah, on the, on the, yeah, you can, you can keep scrolling down actually. Yeah. When I have daily quest to hatch an egg, why do does it direct me straight to the match tree? Instead, I get directed to the menu of the match tree shit, and I had to fucking search like a loony to find it. To basically do tap two, you mean? That's a good. That's a good feedback, by the way. That that's good feedback. Although you can you can hatch eggs by tap and holding the egg, it auto hatches. But yeah, people don't know that. I'm going to make a card for that. That's the kind of feedback I like. How much purchases from the Mo compound are coming from the compound? Zero, as far as I know. Everybody here already got stacked. Are you even open to feedback? I feel quite some people have been shouting the same design feedback regarding certain things. For a while but they keep getting pushed away because according to you there is always some 500 iq hidden reason behind the decision which justifies it. i personally could write multiple pages of feedback but it seems that it's no use but like when you talk, come to me and you say like the game was better one and a half years ago i i don't know if i can take you serious if you tell me like you get purchases every three seconds shoved in your face that's just bullshit. you play like i can play i wouldn't even get a purchase after fucking you know half an hour unless i tap literally get more or whatever the only deals that you sometimes get is you know i think when i get the death crane code i could keep spamming closing and opening to spam new codes is that intentional no you can't you only can reveal one code and then it's revealed and it's done You got multiple different ones. That's a bug. You sure? Forgotten polarity? Yeah, you can record it. 
No, you can use them. I don't care. Record it, please, and, and put it on the on the Clash of Streamers. Please, man. Here. Put it here. I would really appreciate that. Can you keep getting a new code, I feel? I see. Yeah. It's fine, Radiant. You don't have to take it personal. I... It's not like I don't give a shit what you say. It has to be feedback that is very clear, you know? I am really listening and open to feedback. It's not like I don't care what people say. But yeah, like, it has to be, you know... I'm already happy you even play the game, honestly. So, yeah. I'm not trying to tell you to fuck off or anything. I'm surprised that people play the game and say there is no bugs. If I play the game, there's literally 50 things that aren't supposed to work the way they do. But, you know, it's because I know the entire design. If there weren't sound issues, but the sound issues I find very strange because we don't have, s yeah, like that must be phone related or something. I'm a bit surprised that there is sound issues. I have a question about the best game tower. Are the upgrades supposed to upgrade if I don't click? They auto upgrade. All the buildings auto upgrade if you don't do it. We, we, we really do a lot of auto to make sure that people that don't know what the fuck they're doing are, are not missing out. It's extremely potato friendly what we do. Yeah. Not a lot of people realize the amount of work that goes into making it so fucking potato friendly. But yeah, you have to. Because if you don't, then, uh, yeah. Then people just miss out on shit for no reason. It feels bad, man. Do you guys still think that it's never going to come out? Or is it now like, oh, yeah. Actually, I believe. Reese015 is typing. Is that actually Reese? No way. I don't think that's actually Reese. Oh. Okay, this is the real Reese. Well, that's nice. Dries de Grease. Reese de Grease. Uh, maybe it's because the game is being downloaded on the background. You can put bug reports here. Here.
Dries, will you run this with Cedric? Yeah. That's nice. That's nice that we figure these things out. But after you play a while, the, the, the performance gets much better. So weird. What a kind of bug. So at the worst time ever, it's really shit. Anyone in voice? I think you're muted. No, I'm not muted. Yeah. Just get yourself some sweet ass purpose, guys. Can someone show the videos? Check the videos. Oh. Check the check the videos. Get yourself stacked. I don't even know what to say at this point. Is March confident release date? <laughs> at this point, honestly, March is nearly certain. No man, performance issues are a big deal. This is a small bug. But look at the purpose, it's going back up, man. It's getting a boner again. Yeah. I can't believe those moon numbers, and I don't mean that in an opposing way. Well, Ray, there is such a thing called ether scan. You can go and look up ether scan, and you can see all the transactions. I mean, it's not like we're faking this shit. Yes, more than 10K a day. This month has been more than 100K so far. But it's because it's free money. But where do these people, well, I mean, a lot of these people are people that check 3v3 arena and wow, and, and were never introduced before. It's not surprising at all. So, yeah. After party. It's for a secret, secret, man. Secret, uh, secret, uh, uncensored talks. Ah, he, he, he made all the purpose stuff here. He made a fact. I see, that's nice. How do I buy a purpose? That's nice what he's doing. So people can just read that page, I guess. And there everything is explained. Yeah, I guess so. We can just do that, right? Those are PewDiePie numbers I'd expect, but not 2K viewer Twitch streamer. Dude, Ray, I am the... I'm the biggest fundraiser on the internet. I raised more than 25 million for children in need. I really know how to, you know... Get that cash flowing. I did a few shout outs to the guy in my 3v3 team and they got 1,000, 2,000 euros in like 10 minutes. I mean, it's like nothing. Yeah, I can just, I can, money for me is nothing.
and also purpose i mean a lot of people are are, are all in and balls deep into purpose and uh and they don't regret it <laughs> some people sold their purpose and they made six times their well five times their money it's just like yeah it's just a no-brainer the next beta will be next week the next beta will be next week and it will be the final one uh except we will add what we will add is just small uh, one one extra small upgrade test beta for the upgrade flow and, and and framework, and once that works, it's ready to go. I might be clueless, but I don't understand how to upgrade to the. You don't upgrade. You just delete your Clash of Streamers and you reinstall the new one. Facebook is working, but there is just certain things, right? Facebook, we need literally 20 permissions and we already are approved for like 18 or some, well, the majority, but a few permissions are left. So we don't really need it. Do you mind explaining why the purpose will go up? It won't just go up, it will explode. It will go extremely fast to the point where if you don't get it now, you will just see it and you will just cry and say, fuck this shit. Might really go off and, 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 and to bed and wake up and see that purposes went from fucking $3 to, to 10 overnight. And you go like, but, but I, thought, I thought I had time. Yeah, feels bad, man. <laughs> I remember in the previous beta, if you purchase things, you gain a small benefit. Yes, that's still the case. You will get them through mail when the game launches. You'll actually get them in the mail. Is Monkey here, by the way, or not? Is Monkey here? No, he's not. He said that he was getting spammed by deals. Why is that? It's weird. Was that a bug? You can sell pets in the auction house, but in order to sell pets in the auction house, first of all, you have to have a platform connected. And secondly, the pets that you can sell have to be skins. So you need to fuse them. But how did he get the loot? Did he buy it or how did he get it? Was that a bug? You can fuse the pets where you fuse the heroes and there is a toggle between pets and heroes. By the way, when we donate purpose to be for in-game loot like two, three years ago, is it tied to the Twitch name? We have a we have a list here where we will send it we will send it to people manually. It's gonna be a bit of a clusterfuck because some people change their names and stuff, but if people can prove that they did, then we'll sort it out. It's actually crazy, right? That the game on our standards is unlaunchable yet, even though people play it and they go like, man, it's good, it's good, it's good as it is, okay, there's some shit left and right. But to my standards, man, the game has to be no OCD dots that are f bugged. Uh, yeah, like everything has to work properly. But yeah, it's actually interesting. Are the current sales that high because of beta? When I launched Purpose, people got Purpose for millions of dollars. Actually, almost $5 million. Mr. Ray. But then we gave $3 million back. To the to one guy, one whale, crypto whale, but for three million, we just gave him his crypto back because he he got he was just owning the entire market. Fuck that. 
and uh, yeah. Purpose is really, it's going to blow up. Now, right now, it's just a no-brainer. I did it the game and tried download again, and I got an error message. Due to security reasons, your phone is not allowed to. You can turn that off. You can Google it. It's because you probably said, don't download from untrusted whatever the fuck or something like that. Yeah, you can turn that off. Some kind of security bullshit. But yeah. I'm also going to play the, the, the beta. After the stream, I'm going to go and play the beta. Pwn some noobs. Try to get that top rank. What do you think will be the next big investment? I think the next big thing will be purpose. <laughs> no, turning replays should not be fixing performance problems. But if it does, then you should mention it because that means then that we did some mistakes. The the beta before this one is it's it's over. That one is dead. It's all about the new beta. The previous one got deprecated. It doesn't matter anymore. Do you guys like the bomb and the guillotine? Do you guys like it? It really, I, I, it really keeps you, man. It keeps you fucking playing. Quite silly, but yeah. The first five minutes are so important. I know the guillotine is really looks very bad, but ah, but this crit crit that you're talking about is that the guillotine going up? That sound you guys talking about because the guillotine has goes up, and it does a crit crit sound. Is that the sound you guys are talking about? That it seems to be buggy. Is it the guillotine sound? For people saying there is a sound that constantly goes crit crit, it's the fucking guillotine. I uh, know it. No, it's not that. Okay. I see. I see. But you really want to see what happens with the guillotine, though. You just really want to see what happens with the guillotine. I know it's very aggressive, but it works. I see. Yeah, you saved correct, the guillotine goes down either way. But it's saved, man, it's saved. Just like you, you intervene right before it hits. Or we just cheapos and we use the same effect. <laughs> we got you good anyway at that point. So who gives a shit about the effect? <laughs> yeah, the return of the clickbait kings. But man, the clickbait is really good. Huh? The bomb... And the fucking guillotine. And by the time you're there, it's you, you, you're basically hooked now. What part do you guys... Like, who here has downloaded the beta and tried it out? The last beta. Who here has tried it out? Can you guys say it in the Discord? Who has tried out the, the beta of today? One. Two, three, four, five, six, six people, seven, seven people, eight, 
Uh, Jedi Iron doesn't even know. There's a beta, like the one of the final betas a few hours ago. Okay, so like around eight people. Yeah. So people that played the game, right? W what feature do you guys like the most? What do you guys like the most about the game? And what do you hate the most? Say what you like the most and what you hate the most. People that have played Clash of Streamers. What do you like the most? What do you hate the most? Oh, yeah, tomorrow maybe, yeah. No, maybe tomorrow. Hate the loading screen music. The loading screen? Yeah, everybody too busy to get dopamine to reply. Is there music at the start? The whistling. <laughs> the beer music is in the jackpot now when you go to the jackpot it's that song now i think so let me check i'm pretty sure we changed it can you guys hear it i'm gonna go into the jackpot here oh fuck i actually downloaded the game I don't, I'm not going to go to the jackpot, fuck that. Yeah. Like is a big reward. Hate is these pop-ups where you click free x times and then a deal pop-ups. Do you really not like that? These deal pop-ups where you get free stuff. So you would rather have no pop-up than get some free rewards. I love the pop-ups, man. But the thing is, though, the, the presents, each present you open gives you progress to the present open leaderboard, which gives you even more swag. You're basically progressing in the game. You see that the, the, there is an actual achievement to open presents. You don't want presents? So it's like by opening presents, you progress in opening presents leaderboard. But 50 you know how much... Man, I think if you look at the amount of loot that just is given by presents, I think it's 3%. It's 3%, I think, of all your progression are these fucking free present boxes. What do you guys want? And it can also roll crazy loot. Eh? It's RNG. Eh? It can roll insane loot. One casino chip feels like a joke. You like the achievements. I'm actually surprised. I thought people didn't like so much the achievements. I love the achievements. The way you, you progress everywhere is so sick, but it's maybe because I'm mathematical or something. Most people just like the, 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 the bells and whistles and shit.
But like, I, I wonder, so let's say we increase the rewards of these deals. Would that fix it? Come on, man, seriously, what is this guy's problem? I think once the progress is permanent, it will be a different story. No, we can't increase the rewards for the casino games. Because the most rewards you get from the casino games is the yearly uh, casino achievement. And that's insane rewards you get. So the only way we can increase the casino it, uh, rewards is by removing the casino event. So what do you want? You want more? rewards for the casino games or you want to remove the casino event altogether if you have to pick one it would increase the rewards it would triple it more than triple i think maybe quadruple 75 percent of the rewards is the event and 25% is the, the, the actual games. I will say these this free buttons may be more loot. Okay, I'll, 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 but man, is this even accurate? Is this accurate? You guys are already used to a lot of swag. Is this accurate? Come on guys. I don't want to start because I remember when we changed the loot algorithm, everybody was like, hey, where's my loot? I want 50 Kappa scrolls. We changed how stuff works. It's a lot. Yeah, maybe you guys are just little spoiled little bitches, man. Maybe I should wait until launch and then increase the loot after launch. Isn't that better than doing it now? The idea is to launch the earliest, the first March, even if we're done at the end of February, the first March because of seasons and blockchain. First of March is the earliest, is the earliest that we will launch. It's the earliest. I'm not saying we will launch the first. It's the earliest we will launch. Man, it's so annoying. I want to know. I need to know. I need to know. Uh, I need to know. People say the best game can randomly pop up and it takes so long for it to pop up. What is this best game you're talking about, Innocent? How do you mean the best game? Big Banner and Egg. It constantly show. it only comes once. And why do you want a speedrun? Just do skip tutorial, boom. Done. You, by the way, don't lose any rewards if you skip tutorial. We made it so whether you skip tutorial or you play normal, you have the same amount of rewards. Easter eggs. Ah, oh, you can only get the same Easter get egg three times in a row. And then you will never get it anymore. Ah, oh, the Easter eggs. You know how hard it is to get Easter eggs? You're getting Easter eggs, you fucker.
the prestige advancement, but the uh, Drapler is still with this version because we reduced it like crazy. So you don't like the Easter egg pop-ups. Is there anyone else that doesn't like the Easter egg pop-ups? But I will just say, increase the rewards for the banners. Because that seems to be the main one, right? That I see come back. If you get, let's say you get 10 times more rewards from these presents, would that fix it? If you get 10 times more rewards, 10x. Or 15x, we'll see. I have to check that with the loot police. You might say like, what, what's the loot police? The loot police is Ricardo. He's the loot police. He basically has sheets and everything. Oh, what Quizen says, wait, 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 wait. Is that actually true what Quizen says? Because he says like, you, you have no clue what good loot is anyway at the start. That's a big one. Huh? If that's the case, then we shouldn't fuck up the, the loot algorithm. Imagine you're a new player. Do you also feel like these pop-ups are annoying and it's too little for new players? The pop-up interruptions, I see. I wonder if the pop-ups, if you could choose, right? If you could choose between having no pop-ups or having pop-ups with loot, what would you choose? Oh yeah, what if you only get one pop-up a day? So, okay, what if you get one pop-up every half hour? Like, what's the time? Every 20 minutes? Pop-up is basically a deal that pops up with uh, free presents. How much pop-ups is fine? I want to know that. Oh, those are fine. So which ones aren't fine? The thing is, though, people's session is not even 10 minutes. But what you're showing me there is, uh, that's an Easter egg. The biggest annoyance was I don't I didn't figure out how, what triggers them. You want to know what triggers them, Fizo? I can tell you what triggers them. What triggers pop-ups is a very smart algorithm. There is actually hundreds of pop-ups in the game. But there is a way that they cannot trigger too many times. But he's the 
annoyance is like like innocent. Is anyone else annoyed by the the, the Easter egg pop ups? Is there anyone else? Oh yeah, 125k gems is a lot, huh? and you also get achievements. Uh, some Easter egg pop-ups had no text, that's a bug. I will discuss the pop-ups tomorrow with, uh, with, with, with Nolan and stuff. Because you guys are really saying pop-ups. Man, the only thing we add in the game, one of the main things we add, everybody complains. Fuck's sake. I like the pop-ups. Ah, oh, the guy that didn't get to the Easter egg text. Were you playing English or another language? Oh, yeah. So what if the pop-ups are queued to trigger somewhere else only when you go to the main menu? Would that fix it or you would still feel annoyed? So you're doing your shit, still annoyed? Fuck, man, you fuckers. How do I get to milk you guys? Really nice. The one tab you go to to open free chests feel way better, but the other ones felt like interruptions. But the problem with that is nobody does that. Nobody goes to that tab. We gotta, you know, put it in your fucking face. I don't know what the fuck to do, man, with these pop-ups. Do you guys really feel annoyed with these pop-ups? Fuck's sake. I thought people would like it because it gives loot. Yeah. Toggle pop-ups all to the mailbox in COS. Ah, toggle on and on pop-ups. A toggle so you can send all the pop-ups to the mailbox. That's what you mean. I don't want to miss out on all the cash though. Can't do that. No, I'm not going to do that one. That's really like, it's just saying like, yeah, a toggle to remove all purchases in the game. It's like, man, got to milk you, man. <laughs> I'm just honest about it. Got to fucking milk it. It's like really like toggle to, 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 to remove all the, 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 all everything that makes me want to spend cash. You're annoyed by the casino chips, I see. I think we need a bigger sample, okay? How much will one purpose be at the end of the year? I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks. Just get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the, for the pop-ups, there's different solutions. Eh? 
there is uh, hard caps on how often they can proc, which I will discuss because that should already be the case. Maybe there's just bugs. Secondly is increase the loot that they give. Thirdly is um, just reduce the frequency altogether. Fourth is change the design so it's less invasive, but I don't know how we would do that. Maybe make them transparent or something. I don't fucking know. After playing for a while, it feels slightly better, but I got a random best game pop up with a skin or something without touching anything. Wait, is it because you follow someone? Quiz on. Did you connect your Twitch? Well, yeah, then you get the skins from players that you follow as a pop up. That was a skin of someone you followed. Yeah, it's because. Did it have my face on it? You only follow me? I see, I see. You got skins at random times. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. I will, I will make it, uh, the, the, the skins should pop up. Skin pop-ups should happen. Should happen at a good timing. There you go. Yeah, in the previous beta, they all happened at once. Will this delay the game? No, this won't delay the game. Don't worry. <laughs> you know what would delay the game? If we just go like, oh yeah, we gotta, you know, uh, like no, there's more advanced shit that has to have. This is just backend. It's easy. It will literally be just backend stuff and they just get, you know, send in bulk instead of one by one. That's not so much work. Okay. Well, thank you guys for the feedback. Keep playing the beta. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, in the meantime, I would say get yourself that sweet ass fucking purpose. Check out the videos. Uh, there is the fucking link. COS net uh, purpose. Do be fact. Do it. Uh, don't miss out or you're really, really going to cry. You can also apply if you want. Uh, but make sure to get yourself that sweet ass purpose. We've been dinging so much. Uh, five times this month. Don't fucking miss out. That's three three percent. Fucking hell. I don't know what you guys want. Keep it up. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.